These are Snobby Geo 5 um, uh, breathable waders. When I first saw the name, I thought Geo 5 meant fifth generation, but it's it's actually to do with layers of uh, fabric in the lower half of the the waders, as far as I can tell. A couple of obvious things: these continue the trend towards um, waterproof zips down the front of the, the body. I think the notice is. Um, the zip ends well before the crutch, so you can't. Um, what what that does is it makes it easier to get these on and off. Um, it's not long enough for you to um, use as a fly, a uh, gentleman's fly, um, but it is easier to get these waders off when you need to go to the loo, um, or just put them on when it's cold and sit in the back of a car. Nice features, features that I appreciate on waders. Attached uh, belt. This is it's actually a detachable belt. It's but the belt loops are, are fitted, welded to the the, the body of the um, the waders. Two large pockets. The the downside of um, two large pockets. The downside of having a, a zip down the middle is you don't have a big central pocket. So manufacturers have put in. What we've got here is two waterproof zips that, that have a, there's a patch welded on there. Two waterproof zips get me in there. There's another waterproof zip at the side here, so I can get in behind the, the patch, actually. Um, that's a, this one is uh, lined with micro fleece. Um, that's really a hand warming pocket. This is um, obviously where I'm going to keep things like tippet and snips and what have you. I miss not, ha not having a pocket that's big enough for um, uh, a fly box. I tend to have a fly box stuffed in the front of my waders these days. Now, the reason that these are a Geo 5 is that there are five layers of um, fabric and breathable membranes, waterproof membranes, in this section of the, the waders. So what that means is I've, I've got... <coughs> excuse me. What that means is I've got a very tough, um, durable, uh, waterproof section below from the waist down, and then above that I've got a highly breathable um, a section, waiter section. It's a good, it's a good combination. It's been well proven by a number of manufacturers. It works better than having one fabric through the whole through the whole thing, but you do pay for it. The other thing to notice is the seams on these legs come down the, the front of the leg. So what you don't have is where these chafe against each other, where the legs chafe against each other, you don't have seams chasing, chafing against one another. You also have a crutch with the minimum of um, seams meeting. There are no seams meeting that seam there. Um, that makes for simpler uh, tailoring for... for um, the, the tapes that they use to, to seal these seams, um, you only have one line of tape going through there and it makes a much more durable uh, seam. Excellent wearer, expensive. The, the feature that probably, um, it's not going to sell them to individuals, but it is going to sell them to the trade, I think, is these come in a very large number of um, a, heights and widths, if you get what I mean. So I can get a pair for a short guy, for a tall guy, for a fat guy. Um, I'm only going to be one of those, but the the, the, um, the people that sell waders know that that's what means that, they, that's what sells a pair of waders, is that they fit well. Um, that's what sells a, an expensive pair of waders, is that they fit well. It also makes them breathe better. Snowy Geo 5 waders, good product, um, very tough, very modern, uh, nice good stuff.